Hello and welcome back to another video. Today you join me at Glasgow Central Station and I'm heading off to London Euston first class with Avanti West Coast. Um, so I'm booked on the 1740 service, uh, which is the last, I think the last service of the day. Uh, there's been a lot of cancellations uh, for services. Uh, the 1640 uh, back down to London has been cancelled. So it's likely my service will be extremely busy. I've got about an hour and 40 minutes to kill here at Glasgow station. Uh, so I'm going to take a look around the station for a bit and then head off to the first class lounge. Uh, so yeah, let's go. Opened in 1879, Glasgow Central is one of two main stations serving the city of Glasgow, the other being Queen Street. To my right, you'll find the Avanti West Coast Travel Centre and in through there, the first class lounge. We'll head over there after we've had a quick look around the station. Notice the difference in my camera quality? I just got a brand new phone which will film all of my upcoming trip reports. Expect improved mic quality and fantastic quality videos. Glasgow Central, in pre-pandemic times, serves over 30 million people a year, but during the pandemic it dropped to just 5 million. Glasgow Central is such a nice station. This was my first time here, but it definitely won't be my last. There was a large variety of shops and eateries available at the station, including Costa, Pretamunji, W. H. Smith, and a plethora of other options. You'll find large departure boards in front of the platforms displaying my train, the 1740 service, the last of Anti West Coast train of the day between Glasgow and London. Anyways, let's head off to the first class lounge here at Glasgow Central. It was strangely located inside the travel centre. I had a hard time finding it when I was planning my video. Inside you'll find comfy sofas and chairs to relax in before your train. One thing I was rather annoyed about was the lack of a toilet. Drinks and light snacks were offered. I went for a diet Pepsi and some shortbread. Both were very nice. I do apologise if you see a drop in frame rate in this video. It is not the camera's fault but my video editor. I use a cheap app on my phone but in the new year expect 4K quality videos professionally edited on my laptop. But without further ado let's head over to our train for today which will depart from platform number 2. I was hoping to be one of the first to board today as I used the Real Time Trains website to see which platform my train was departing from, but a long but orderly queue had formed in front of our platform, so I guess I have to wait. I had spent an hour and 45 minutes in Glasgow Central before my train's departure, and I overheard the many cancellations to services today, so it was no surprise that the station was very, very busy. Boarding commenced about 15 minutes before departure. I have quite a walk to make, as first class, like the majority of services in the country, is towards the London end of the train. Mm. 
Let's hop on board and take a seat. I have a reservation for today, seat K14, but this was in a table of four sitting with two strangers, so I decided to take K4, an unreserved backward facing window seat on the duo side of the train. Just on board now. Apparently, the previous trains were cancelled to London from Glasgow, so it's going to be a very busy train today. Just before we leave, a placemat as well as a glass and menu is placed in front of me. We'll take a look at the menu after we depart Glasgow. We depart one minute late at 17:41. Today's total journey time is scheduled to take 5 hours and 7 minutes and will reach top speeds of 125 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the menu. Pause if you wish to take a closer look. I decided to go for the gnocchi. More on the food later. Just after we depart Glasgow, a trolley service of drinks is served. I go for an apple juice and some water. Our first stop of the day is Motherwell. Let's have a quick seat tour. There are large padded armrests either side of the seat, plug sockets to charge your devices, a lever to recline the seat, and here is the decommissioned onboard entertainment. This was a rather smart addition to the Pendolinos back when they were introduced in 2001. In first class, you plugged your headphones in and chose a channel to listen to some groovy tunes, free of charge. This came with a small supplement in standard class, but over time as handheld devices such as MP3 players and smartphones became more popular, the then operator of these trains, Virgin, removed this feature of the seats. At every first class seat, there's a large wooden table to do your work or dine as well as coat hooks, a window blind, a seat reservation dial, and some reading lights.
As well as overhead luggage space, there are also luggage racks dotted around the train for larger items. Overall comfort of these seats is pretty good, they're large and have decent padding. After about 40 minutes, dinner is served. This is the only proper hot option on the menu, and while it wasn't the largest, it definitely was tasty and filling. While I do like the menu in first class with Avanti, I do believe it's lacking meat options. It is already the vegetarian or vegan, probably a cost cutting ploy by Avanti. After I finished my dinner, I decided to have a look around the train. There is an accessible toilet just outside the first class section. It was out of order past Preston. Luckily, there was nobody who needed to use such facilities on today's journey. This is the standard premium section on board today. You can pay a supplement of 25 to 30 pounds and get a first class seat. What I do find annoying though is that it takes up two carriages on a nine car Pendolino meaning there's just a half carriage of actual first class. As you can see, it's deserted, and first class is a lot more busy than this. You'll find toilets dotted around the vestibule areas of the train. I'm pleased and slightly surprised to see that everything worked fine, especially after a drunk man had used it. The soap, Water and hand dryer all worked as expected. This is standard class, laid out in a 2 plus 2 configuration. Overall, the seat was relatively comfortable and came with all the features you'd expect of an intercity train. Oh, and by the way, this train comes with free Wi-Fi available to all passengers, in all classes. One of our train's major calling points is Crew. Here you can find West Midlands train services down to London as well, with prices from around £9. Our penultimate scheduled stop is Milton Keynes, although we do also stop at Watford Junction to pick up delayed passengers on LNWR services.
Here's our penultimate stop today, Watford Junction. After just about 5 hours we're closing in on London Euston, so I'll give my thoughts and opinions on today's trip. I really enjoy the Vanity Best Coast First Class, and while the First Class menu doesn't exactly have the best choices, it still has some tasty meals and drinks available. Now, I paid nothing for my trip today. I got two free first class return vouchers from Avanti West Coast, as on one of my previous trips with them, they didn't offer any hot food. I emailed in and was wondering if I could maybe get a small percentage of my ticket price back or a discount on my next trip with Avanti, but they instead gave me free tickets to anywhere on their network. Fantastic customer service. I would have paid £280 for this return journey, and would I say it's worth it? No. Well, I'm saying this as a broke student, but everything from the lacklustre first class lounge with no toilet, the old and tired interior, and lack of meat options on the menu, I would much prefer to fly or go standard class. Is that to say I didn't enjoy myself? No! I loved my journey today, but if Avanti really wants to compete with airlines, they have to improve their product, and in all honesty, they are. They're refurbishing these trains and replacing other ones in the next few years. Anyway, we arrive about 15 minutes late at 11 o'clock. It's so weird seeing London and Euston this quiet. I've never been here this late and it's usually jam-packed with commuters and leisure travellers.
so there we go guys uh, an enjoyable trip with back to west coast down to london um well, well we're just about 15 minutes late uh, but not the biggest deal so yeah i'm now gonna head off to Vauxhall, then richmond uh, to get home so yeah hope you enjoyed the video uh, and if you did please like subscribe comment and whatever thank you very much